class in the previous class we had uh, we had seen a couple of options uh, let me just uh, move tool mirror command circle repeat okay so in this particular class we'll be using what beams and editing of beams how do we approach that how do we do how to work with that let me just select this this whole thing okay so i'll get a beam first 0 comma 0 is fine and then i'll get 0 comma 5 just a second just delete this also let's start with fresh values okay so i have got these two node points generally if you want to add a beam what do we do we get the node points we come to beam and we join it like this okay now this is only the one method there are multiple methods of doing this and that special cases to this okay this is the most common case that special cases so the next case special case in this is you go to geometry you go to add beam Okay, when you go to add beam, you will see the other three cases. One is called add beam between midpoints, add beam by perpendicular, uh, sorry, perpendicular inter, uh, intersection, and add curved beam. Okay, so those three conditions are there. Special cases, I call them. So what happens basically is, I'll go again. Uh, let me go for uh, zero comma. In that direction, let me move five or eight. Okay, again here, I'll move five and eight. Okay, I've got two points. Now I want to draw a beam from midpoint here. Okay, so how do I do that? I go to geometry, I go to add beams. So for whatever what I was doing, add beam from point to point. It is from point to point. Now I want to draw a beam from midpoint of this, not from point to point. I want to draw from midpoint. How do I do, do from midpoint? Just come to geometry, add beams, add beam between midpoints, select this. Okay, and then when you come here, you won't be able to drop it here or here. It won't take node to node. Okay. So, if you just read this properly, it says add beam between midpoints. It's a ruler. Okay, midpoints it is. So what I have to do, I have to have another beam for it to work. Okay, and then what I can do, geometry, add beams, add beam between midpoints. Like this very quickly, I can add points like this. All right, so this is the very first thing. And it is not like it just, it just works between uh, beams of same length. If I were to go in the backward direction, and let me take 0, minus 6 or minus 5. Minus 5. Okay. And let me take some random 8 and minus 5. Okay. So I've got two points like this. Very quickly, I'll just join these two points and create a beam. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to draw from this midpoint of this beam to this midpoint. Okay. So I'll go to geometry, add beam add beam between midpoints now i don't even have to click in the midpoint okay i can even click in the corner here the beam will come only from the midpoint again here i don't have to leave it in the mid i can leave it in the corner but the beam will go and snap to the midpoint of the beam okay same thing if you want to do same thing will happen here okay let me just control set this okay so that's a very first thing okay if you want to add uh, beam between two uh, this one midpoint to midpoint you can do that all right then again i have to go to geometry add beams add uh, add beam by perpendicular intersection now what does this mean if i want to add a very straight beam okay from here i want to i want to snap at 90 degrees so i can just select this and it will snap like this very easily okay will that be possible by normal uh, beam it won't be possible why it won't be possible because it will only snap to node okay it would it won't snap here all right it won't it won't fit here it always needs a node so if I want to do a perpendicular beam from here to there, what I can do is I can just go to my geometry. I can go to my add beam, set the third option, click and just click anywhere. Even if I were to click here, it will snap to 90 degrees only. Okay, it will snap to 90 degrees like this. Perpendicular beam if you want, it will create it for you. Okay, same thing. You can do it here. No to not also you can do, no issues. All right, if I want to do, if I want to create something here, you can create like this. Understood? So very simply and very easily you can create perpendicular beams and beams from midpoint to midpoint okay and there's one more case that is hardly used that is called as add curved beams okay we cannot design curved beams in our uh, uh, stat pro software okay so you can add them like this but they're of no use we cannot design them if i were to go and see in 3d you cannot see your curved beam at all okay that link is not existing all right okay so let me just select and read this off all right so this is the how we can draw special uh, beams okay mid to mid beam perpendicular beams and everything 
Now, how do I edit the beams? What I mean by editing the beams is, for example, uh, let me just uh, delete this off. Okay, let me just delete this off. Okay, no issue. See here, what has happened here is, if I were to just zoom into this much point, just a second. Okay, so if you see here, I have got one beam, I have got one beam, right? I want to join these beams. Okay, I, I don't want to delete this beam and then delete this beam and then you know, join a beam from this point to this one. I just want to join these two beams together, merge them. That's what I want. I don't want to delete them and redraw them. So what you can do is hold control, select both the beams, okay, go to geometry and there's an option called as merge selected members. Okay, see here, 10, 11, and 12 and 10 see beam number 5 sorry beam number 8 and beam number 14 are selected you can do what merge selected members now it will ask you which beam do you want to keep do you want to keep the beam number 8 or do you want to keep the beam number 14 now why is this asking us sometimes what happens your dimensions will be different okay by mistakes you have you have created some different dimensions one has 400 depth one has a depth of 450 okay so you're like okay fine 450 is the what i want so you can just come and change it you should know what's the dimensions you have given okay you do this and you click on merge Okay, then what happens if I if I come and select this now? See the beam number eight only is there. All right, so it is that simple. Same thing here. Let me just delete this off. Okay, I want to merge this in this beam. So select this and select this. I've got uh, beam number six and beam number eight here. Come to geometry. Okay, merge select members. You click on this. It'll ask you beam number six you want to keep or beam number eight you want to keep. Okay, you can merge them. I'll keep beam number six this time and I'll merge it over here. So what happens, this entire thing will become beam number six. Okay. All right. So that was the first of the merging of beams. Okay. Now, how do I, uh, let me just merge this beam also, geometry, merge beams, merge them. Okay. Now, how do I split a beam? Okay. Merging, we understood. Now, how do we split a beam? Okay. So we select this whole thing. All right. And then what I wanted to do is, you go to your uh, geometry and you come to after this merge selected members there's something called a split beam option okay you set the split beam option here okay now i want to know uh, say i want i want to break my beam at a meter of two meters okay at two meters i want to break this beam i click two meters and i click on okay but it won't take it again students make a lot of mistake here the diet try to click okay it won't take it you have to click on add new point only when you click on add new point will it take it all right, and then you click on OK. Automatically at two meters, it will create a uh, point for you. Okay, it will break the beam for you. If I were to show display beams, display two meters, see it has split the view uh, beam for you. Okay, remove it. The same thing if I want to do now. Uh, what I can do is select this. Now I'll go to my geometry again, split beam option. The first time what I did, I just gave some value 0.5. Okay, add new point I did and I was able to get a point. Now what if I want to get a midpoint? Okay, so select this beam, go to geometry, split beam, okay, and just click on add midpoint. Okay, add midpoint. You don't have to give any value. You click on add midpoint, automatically it'll give a midpoint, everything will come here, just click on okay. Okay, select this geometry, split beam, add midpoint, okay. Automatically it will break your beam. Okay, it is that simple. There's something called as insert node also. You click and insert the node here. Again, you can give whatever distance you want to give. Okay, and you click on okay. Add new point and click on okay. All right, one more thing the students generally miss here is I want you to hit shift N. Okay, when you hit shift N, you'll be able to see the node numbers. Six and 16 is there, see here, six and 16. Okay, I'll click here again, insert node option. Insert node also you can do, or what you can do, you can go to geometry and click on split beam okay either is up to you all right so i'll, I'll just, just add new uh, this one option called as uh, insert node i'll select it over here okay there is something called as 16 and there's something called as 6 so the distance you give will come from 16 all right if you hover over it wherever the green comes right that is the starting point okay if you just come and hover over it or just select it wherever green comes it is starting point whenever blue comes it's your ending point all right, green is starting, blue is ending. How do you get to know that? Whenever you try to select this and you click on node point, see it is coming from 16 only. 
16 and 6. 6 is the ending, 6 is the beginning. If I were to give 1 meter from here, it will take 1 meter, add new points, so it is taking 1 meter from 16. It is not taking 1 meter from 6. Because green is color is here. And from what does green signifies? Starting of the beam. Okay, you click on OK, it will come like this. Point number 17 is created for you. Alright, same thing here. Okay, 1 is blue. Sorry, 1 is green and 5 is blue. Okay, 1 is green and 5 is blue. So if you select this, you go to your geometry, you go to your split beam. Same thing will happen here. You just give your node point, whatever you want. Maybe uh, I want to get about uh, 0 0.4 or something. Add new point, I'll do. Okay, it's bigger than this. So let me do 0 0.2. Okay, add new point, I'll do. See, from 1 only it is taking distance because 1 is in green color where the beam starts. Now this beam has been broken again, see. Inside this again, you'll find green, green and blue color even here. Okay, you'll find green and blue color here. Okay, so green is starting, blue is ending point. So like this, you can add nodes to your entire beam structure and, and split it up like this. And if you want to merge them very easily, very conveniently, what you can do, control, select the whole thing, go to your geometry and click on merge selected members and merge them like this. Okay, same thing goes here. You can even select multiple members like this, geometry, uh, and then merge selected members and merge them. Okay, in one shot, you can merge every all of them together very quickly. Okay, so like this, what you can do is you can edit your beams and you can change how, however you want to. Okay, so if this concept is clear, this concept will be applied here. Okay, you can see we have got one perpendicular beam coming out of this point. Okay, we discussed how to create a perpendicular beam. Okay, and here at random we have one thing. So I told you how we can get green color and blue color and what distance I'm supposed to give. I'm supposed to give three meters distance. Okay, so all the concepts that we have discussed now will come into play here. Okay, depending, it depends on totally on us. Okay, whatever whatever tools you want to do. If you want to use translation to repeat, we can use translation to repeat and create it. If you want to use uh, geometry and run structure wizard, we can use geometry and run structure wizard. Okay, whatever it seems convenient to you, you can use this and create this practice grid too. I'll give the practice grid too to you and practice grid one as well. Okay, so in the next class, I'll try to create this grid uh, in front of you so that if you have a doubt, you can just follow up, follow up with me. Okay, so see you guys in the next class. Thank you.